Okay, here we are again. You are watching Cyber Neuro Druid, and I'm playing Scenario 9 of Invasion from the Unknown, The Library. We've just found Igor the Wolf Rider, and he's going to come back and join the main party. And the main party is happening down here, and what a party it is. We're being attacked by large numbers of incredibly weak units. So our initial job is going to be to clear this area and to withstand this initial rush. We don't want to press too far. I think um, what we would ideally like to see is these skeletons basically doing away with themselves on my troops. And we'll see if that happens. For now, Althurin, the Dwarvish Rune Master, is going to come in. Uh, where is he going to be best placed? This bat is not going to be useful on the front lines, so maybe his job. He can't quite take this guy out, uh, neither can this spectre. Um, so it's this flank where I think things are looking a little bit, this right hand flank where things are looking a little bit more challenging right now. Gonna have to put, get some tough troops over there to deal with the situation. Um, first things first is to get this headhunter out of the picture and I think it is probably Althurin who is best placed to do that. So, go in and whack him. Good, good. Okay, I've got some gold income, so I could hire some more troops at this point. Um, I'm, my overall gold balance is negative, so I have to be careful with that. But it's not out of the question. Okay, that has opened up the possibility of sending Malka Shah around here to zap this invader who's got behind my lines, and that indeed is what I'm going to do. Excellent. Right. Now, otherwise, over here we've still got this bat. We've got two warriors. Um, if I play this correctly, I think I should be able to actually clear up on this flank. So I'm going to start by bringing the spectre round. Um, do I have a less injured spectre to do that with? No, no I don't. Seems like I should get a fair few good hits and, re and restore myself some damage from this. So I'll give it a go. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. This leech here, not very strong, it's a drainer, so and it also regenerates, so when I actually, it doesn't move, when I move out of the base, I will want to come down here and actually just take it out in one turn, basically, if I can. I've got a death knight here, I want to bring the death knight forward because it has some handy abilities. Perhaps I can plonk it, I can put this ghost who might die here and the death knight behind and then when these skeletons come in to attack if they attack the ghost they will take more damage in response so this skeleton can come around here and attack the blood pack okay didn't think I would get the kill but that's fine there are also tentacles in here, they also regenerate, so I also want to kill them in one go, but since they've only got 25 hit points, that's not so much of a challenge. Okay, I don't really want you to get the kill, because if you get the kill, it's a waste of good experience. You are not really in a position to get the kill. Who should I send in for this job? I'd like it to be someone who can actually kill this bat, because I don't want the bats flying around unchecked. Could be Anlinde. But no one, no one can actually reach her where she is. So, yeah, why not? There's a bit of overkill there, but eh. Now, how tough is Sophia the Shade? Could she take all those hits if I get attacked on this flank? 
I mean, ultimately, that's only two units, and, and I will take down this Chaos Invader one way or another. So, yeah, I think I'm safe to do that. Okay, now, interesting choice, really. I could actually press forward on this flank um, and, and actually come out and attack here. Um, I don't on the whole think it's all that wise to do so just yet, so I won't. I'll leave the skeleton here. If it dies, it dies. Um, if it survives, it survives. And next turn, maybe I can push forward. Right, over here I need to deal with this archer. Good, good. You finish the job. And head up towards Spectre status. like Mass Effect. Wow, you're a Spectre! You can come into the middle. You just push forward. And Galas, I guess, yeah, you just stay where you are and you'll gain a nice amount of health. Okay, let's take the, uh, the repercussions. Slightly jammy hits from uh, uh, the random number generators doing interesting things here. Ah, yes. One thing I do forget about the uh, about those attacks from, from ghosts is that their ranged attacks are cold, not arcade. All right. Well, you've saved me some income anyway, AI. AI and, uh, I can now push in. There are still more troops coming up this flank. Will I be able to push them back, or are they just going to keep on coming? I guess we'll find out. First things first, I think again I want to re-establish that all is well over on this flank. But first, no, I'll put you there. There they are! Get them! Alright. <laughs> Not expecting that. Okay, some demons. Level 3 demons. Alright, fine. Uh, now what I'd like to do is send someone in who's going to take care of this headhunter. Can you do the job, Althurian? You probably can. Lovely. And we've only taken four damage. And then we've got a Chaos Invader over here. And actually, you can't quite get around far enough. But I want. Hmm. You, if you get both hits, it's a nice kill. If you get one hit, it ain't, but that's fine. And then use the thinier. Can you stand here? And if you do, will you get attacked by both of those guys? No, only one of them. Only one of them's actually fast enough to reach. So you can't be killed. And I can hopefully put someone else in their way. Alright, you're now almost at an after maximum level advancement, which is going to be very useful if I get it. Baneblade, Spectre Guy, you do it. You do your thing. All four hits, please, and kill it. Oh, three out of four ain't bad. If I take this village, then whoever goes onto it can be attacked. Not by the demon, just by this guy. Let's see, maybe this one 
ghost can do it and level up in the process. Okay, more leeches, more tentacles. That was pants. I'll send a spectre to do the job. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> all right. Um, I might lose this wraith now. Um, I was not expecting that. Um, how about you? How about the back? Can you come? Actually, you can solve the problem, can't you? And I don't even care if you die. All right, lots of visible enemies still coming. And you get the experience. Okay, whatever. All right, slightly more pressing left flank. What's the play? So I think here, there's so many skeleton archers here. I really need to get them out of the picture. They do so much damage. Um, be nice if I had more ghosts. Maybe I should have saved my ghosts, not set them around on this flank. But um, well, you first of all, Galas can actually take care of you. Um, Death Knight should be fairly good at take care, taking care of these guys as well. Um, but I want someone who can. You'll be hard to hit, won't you? Oh no, not as hard to hit as I thought. So let's see if you can kill this wraith. Uh, sorry, if you can kill this skeleton archer. You can. Okay, now that means that you can come around here and do the backstab thing. And then maybe the bat can finish it off. The bat has not got this. Igor, Igor and Quetad the Trapper, you get back to my main force. I need to recruit some more troops, and I think ghosts are still my best bet. Shadow is now a bit exposed, and um, I just kind of hope I can kill enough units to push them back. It would probably help if Gallus, if you just go down here and maybe try and take out this. Do you have the best chance? Maybe you have an even better chance. Yeah, you, you'll do a good job. Alright, that, that's looking better. Now, you're a skeleton archer, you just shoot this other skeleton archer. Or maybe just punch this other skeleton archer? No, I want you to do the shooting, I want you to do more damage. It actually doesn't make any difference, does it? Okay. Alright, skeleton fisticuffs. Um... And Linda, you could come and stand in the middle here. Um, you'd be risking yourself a bit. You've only got 30% defense. Don't think I like that idea. And these guys really, they can't get out of the water. So Anlin, they could go and stand in this corner and she'd probably be fine. What about you? Can you get to that spot? Yeah, good. All right. Just deal small amounts of damage over here. You step back for now, you step here, and let's see, does that give you more range? No it doesn't. Excellent. And that means you can do your thing. I think I'll use the... Ooh. No, I'll need all four hits for that to work. That's unfortunate. If it was one more damage, I'd be much more confident. 
Okay, I'll just try and go for the straight out pain. I haven't used Malkeshar. That makes a change. <laughs> but normally he's all over it. Um, good. Well, Galas could come down here and into some beefy melee combat. Or he could just whack ineffectually at some skeletons. Both are weapons. If he goes down here, he'll get tentacled. Um, which would be annoying. And the enemy might trigger one of its crazy suicide runs. So maybe Galas actually should just stay where he is and recruit a ghost or two. I'm going to recruit, recruit, recruit the ghost anyway. Just one, I think. Just one for now. Let's replace the one that got killed. And then you just run forward and attack this guy. Now, you if you sit where you are, you'll regain health. So I don't think there's any real grave disadvantage to that. Or maybe I could put you... Well, it's so very tempting. Just you could take a ton of damage if you go there. Oh well, don't do that. Just go here. You go here. Um, I'd like Malkashar to get in range of a healer. Maybe I can, yeah, I can block Sathinia from getting attacked by this invader potentially by just moving Malkashar out in front. Yeah, that's the best bet. Um, and hopefully he should be able to deal sort of neutral amounts of, uh, of damage and get himself up to a high health. Alright, let's see how this goes. Oh no! Oh no! They're going for my weak skeleton that I don't care about. And they can't kill it, so there we go. Uh, that's more annoying. Stop it! The bat? Okay, you want to kill the bat? Fine. What's that? A soulless. That's a weird troll soulless. Alright, well the enemies keep coming, and now we've got level 3 enemies incoming. First up, let's move these troops in the back, get them into the fight. And then we'll consider what we want to do down here. Um, now we do have Malkeshar, so we can push forward relatively effectively. And I feel like actually the most, the smartest thing to do here would probably just be to push forward and try and take all three of these units out. And I think I've got the mojo to be able to do it. And the only person who can threaten me then is this troll soulless. And they're nasty, but um, you know, not something that I'm absolutely terrified of. So you jump in and zap this demon warrior. Demon warrior is almost dead. Someone will get a nice amount of experience out of that. Okay, now it's about trying to clean these people up from the back. person down below huh. 
just thinking of the best way to do this. Do I want this ghost to level up already? If so, I could try and get the kill. Could die? Seems like that's more a job for the Wraith. Uh, in which case, you just run around here and wail a few times at this dude. <coughs> Alright, now this guy has been wailed on, so to speak. Uh, Altheran can come in. <coughs> Alright, we are now officially halfway to a level. And Altheran, as usual, barely even wounded. Try and get the shadow to get the kill. Ugh. Yeah, there we go. And now he's halfway towards a level as well. That's beautiful. So now the shadow, Malkashar, they're both in range here. I could start work on these tentacles. Let's see what happens on this flank first. So this shadow, for a start, needs to run away. And. And probably I'd best push from the center here, uh, and then just push outwards. Anlinde, you're a bit wounded. You could do with a healer. Um, I'm going to use you though to clear the way. Gallus, can you do that? good. And now there is just this one invader here, who actually uh, is not that all, all that easy to reach, unfortunately. Um, po probably the best bet is... Am I going to lose another Death Knight if I do this? No, you do chill damage. You do do arcane damage. Um, and only one person should be able to get in if I stand here. So that's something at least. Okay, that was pretty painless on the whole. And now I need to just make sure that these folks get cleaned up. Okay, I think now we are more or less safe. Um, only this ghost can reach us now on this side, um, so I can start work with the spectre on trying to clean up. And maybe this wraith as well, yeah why not? Clean up these irritating water units. Okay, clearly water's not your primary environment. more like it. Tentacle down! Two tentacles left. I'm not going to come in on them yet. I'm going to move. Sad that you can't get to where Anlande is to heal her, but it's not always a win. And now I think maybe the smart move would be to just move this archer somewhere it's going to block attacks. Like, I don't want my... I'd rather have my ghosts alive. So if I put this archer here, um, it can run the gauntlet, do sacrificial duty. I'll get attacked by this demon, and it's on 50% defense, so that's fine. Finally, you come around here. You go and grab that house, and I think that's everyone. Only the green player is still threatening me with units. The green player seems to be the one who's the most talkative as well. And now my income is looking substantially better as well. Let's see if I can get the remaining houses so I don't go down to below zero gold. I don't think I'm going to quite be able to do it, um, but uh, it'll be close. 
and I've got plenty of turns left. Sorry for these little guys. Okay, so that really hurt Malkashar. He's not happy about that at all. <laughs> so. A new level. Lovely. You can come in and do some damage. Or oh, miss with both attacks. Are there any enemies approaching? Doesn't look like it. It's a giant leech. Okay, these guys are actually these guys are actually nasty. They're a level two, but they've got a powerful melee attack that drains. So I want to get someone in place to block this. There's only one. Uh, ooh, a glyph. Nice kill on the part of that shadow. I'm going to put Althea in here on the stone because he's got good resistances, he's hard to hit. Um, and then I'm going to move this inexperienced ghost to block the shadow. Alright, now we're safe. Now the giant leech can't do too much terrifying, terrifying damage. This tentacle is something just to leave it where it is. I mean, it's, it maybe get me some good experience, but um, it doesn't, you know, it's not a great concern for the time being. Over here, um, first things first, I need to dispose of, um, well, what is first? So I think first I'm going to need, I'm, I'm going to move down here and kill this. Have another wraith. And that means that one of you, like you, can try and kill this tentacle from your existing position. Okay, and I end up on almost full health. Um, and then... Now if you could just get a couple of good hits in, that would be awesome. Even just one, it might be all I need. And the skeleton now can, can do an absolute ton of damage over here. Um, and miss. Could try and use this shadow to get the kill. Is it worth it? First let's take this spectre and allow it to take out its lower level counterpart. Alright, gotta keep you safe, but you're safe for now. Can you? No, you can't. So ghosts not up to the task. You just need one hit. And I don't mind if you die. Perfect. Right, now... Between Galas and Anlinde, I think I've probably got this. So I'm going to put Anlinde here and have her do her infernal, her ethereal storm. Okay, 
Yeah, that wasn't brilliant. Okay, so everyone's looking pretty injured down here now. Um, can this... I'm going to try it, and if I lose the shadow, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, you can't get in. You can get in, but you're weak. Whew, alright. Can't protect the shadow from getting javelin next turn, but the javelin damage shouldn't be too huge. And now what I really need to do is put you there so that you can just heal absolutely everyone. And then... And maybe I can. Maybe I can protect you. No, not quite. Can't quite get all of the ghosts into the correct position. Then it probably makes sense to leave this ghost here where it'll gain two health. Move forward. I don't really want Galath to get attacked. I'd rather this high level Wraith got attacked. So I'm going to put that here. Man, Green has so many units. Green didn't even start off with that much money as far as I as far as I was aware. <laughs> but Green has a ton of units. Okay, good to know. Um, and yeah, I'm going to let this Wraith come over here um, and get into a fight with this tentacle. If it wants to lure the tentacle out. I'm going to go into negative income this term turn, but only, hopefully, very briefly. This is why it's handy to have units like Igor who are loyal around. They don't cost you upkeep, for those of you who are new to the game. Eh. So now I need to keep pushing on both sides. Here we've got a, a walking corpse bat, um, not under any circumstances, crucially, not under any circumstances to be confused with the dread bat, who is a level 2 unit who can drain, and is quite strong. This is a piss poor level 1 unit, so I'm not worried. I am a bit more worried over here by the giant leech, but I think I should be able to kill it in fairly short order. Uh, question is, who gets which kills? Can you kill this guy straight out? Yeah, you can. Do it. <laughs> Love that magical hammer attack. Okay, now you... Well, let's start at the top. Let's try and wrap things up from the top. You can go and attack this tentacle. Didn't quite get the kill, that's fine. This other wraith, wraith can only reach the tentacle, so I should probably let it get the kill, and you can do something else, like go and fight this... Like, go and fight this leech. Alright, no more tentacles. Not in this area, anyway. You advance this way. You advance as well. You step in here. Two hits, please. Very good. And now I've just got this soulless to worry about. There's more leeches. That's okay. Oh, there's another giant leech over here. That does change what I'm going to do. Because these people have a larger range. They're quite annoying. Can't reach these two spots. So maybe just see what damage we can do. Oh, 
if I park my healer there, my healer is going to get attacked and take a ton of damage. I think I'm gonna just, just going to leave the ghost. I'm going to put Malkashar here, put the healer here, the leech stays where it is, and it can attack the ghost if it wants to, but the ghost will do... it can't drain from the ghost, so that's fine. Um, this ghost um, could be killed by the soulless, but that wouldn't be the end of the world. If that happens, it happens. I guess, yeah, I guess, do I, would, what, what would I rather happen? Would I rather the soulless attacks my dark sorcerer and does a ton of damage, or would I rather it attacks my ghost? Probably rather it attacks the ghost, to be honest, um, which means that I should park it here. Oh, now I can see some more enemies. That is a fire guardian. They look a lot scarier than they are. They're level one units. They're very fiery, they do lots of fire damage, so it's not great when my main troops are ghost inspectors, but it could be worse. Um, so I don't want to rush in down there without being a bit on the cautious side. I'd like to grab this village. And I think I actually can. I think I can do it with the shadow, because no one can see the shadow. So it shouldn't trigger any guards. There we go. So yeah, there's a, there's a couple of fire guardians and another of these glyphs. All right, that's the right flank dealt with. Over on the left flank, what's happening, people? Spectre can first soften up the enemy. That could have been better. Could be worse, could be better. You come in and try and get the kill. Nice, alright. Now who's going to take the lead? We've got a fair few enemies down here, including Purple! Purple still hasn't learned his lesson and is producing skeleton riders. It's an interesting question how fast I want to advance down here. If I rush in, I can probably kill a few of these guys, but be exposing myself to damage next turn. Like Anlinde, um, she's pretty weak at this point. If, you know, she'll, she can take 14 damage. Um, she can reach this Solace and almost certainly kill it, but then I need to have some other plan in mind for dealing with these other troops. I've got, I've got Spectres, I've got a Ghost. I'm going to try it. Uh, no time like the present. Alright, good. That worked out as planned. Now, I think the easiest thing to do to defend is probably just to plonk Galas on this on this house and have him take any damage that comes. There's also a skeleton a skeleton warrior here. Um, the rest of these skeletons can't reach them. So let's see what happens if I do that. Can I see anyone new? Nah. Alright. So everyone else move up. If you stand here you can just wail at this skeleton. You can stand in the middle and do a lot of healing. You can go there. Maybe you'll get attacked, but even, even if you do, you'll get some healing from the shide. Um, you could even come down here and wail at this corpse. Won't get you experience, but it'll make the corpse slightly easier to kill. Give me options next time, and this this weak archer can move forward. All right, turns going slowly here, I'm afraid. Such is the nature of the beast in levels like this. What the hell? Sixty percent defense, people. <laughs> <laughs> ok, 
okay, it feels like, and I, I'm a bit hesitant about saying this, because whenever I say something like this, I'm wrong, but it feels like we've broken through the bulk of the enemy forces at this point. So it feels like the best play is to push forward and try and find the leaders, and to do so quite fast. Uh, which flank to start with? I'll start over here. We've got a giant leech coming up on this flank. And I think the giant leech, um, the best bet is just to stick Malkashar in its face and see what happens. First though... troops down here who aren't going to get totaled by these fire guardians. What's Malkashar's defense to fire like? Bad? Not the worst, but bad. Um, yeah, it's, it's really, it really is a shame down, that I've gone down here with all of my units that are better at... So all my elves are over on this side, and they're the ones who are better against fire. You're not weak to fire, you're just weak in general. I'm gonna have to be careful with you. Here's me talking about pushing forward, and on, on the other hand, uh... I want you to get some health. Shadow, I want you to stay where you are. Well, I'm gonna come down here. How do these guys actually, can you kill them easily with cold? Yeah, they're super weak against cult. Okay, that's good. That means my Dark Sorcerer is really the perfect person to be taking them on. And I'll bring back up in the form of some wraiths, because I think these guys are also weak to arcane. Yeah. Good, okay. There's one weak guy here, there's one tough guy up here. And then over here I can push forward again. Gallus, you've earned a vacation at this point. You're looking a bit uh, beat up. So, Anlande, come and deal with this guy. Ah, it's another it's another giant leech. Okay. I'm gonna try and actually bait it out with this with this wraith. And everyone else can get within healing range if you need healing. I think only everyone who's got who needs healing has got it. Um, and you, the spectre, can go scouting up this way. Aha! Uh -huh. There's a bane, uh, not a bane blade. Why do I call everything a bane blade? This is a death blade, that's completely different. It's got 10-5 axe attacks. And I could, again, bait it out here. Um, does it have people behind it? I'm not going to do that just yet, I'll let it stand in the water. You go there, you go there, and you try and scout down here. Ooh, good visibility. Okay, I can see that there are some more of these soulless coming out. A 
and this shadow can stay where it is. Oh, Quothad the elf. Um, now, because I said I need elves down this side, I think this this flank is tougher. It's got a good lot of level three units on it, so I'm actually going to bring Quothad down here as well. Especially if I'm going to have to fight more fire elementals on this side. Leadership in action there, and actually this this giant leech is so weak now that I can I can get a kill quite easily without wasting Malkashar on it. How about you? How about you? You will die if it hits you with all its attacks. You just need to hit once, just once. Ah, but if it hits you first, it will regain enough hit points that you won't be able to kill it in one hit. Okay, very tempting, but no deal. Okay, instead, I want. Instead, you can try and kill this corpse. There we go. Four experience! Woohoo! You're well on your way to being an absolute tank. Now I need to protect you. Just put you here. Of the remaining ten, Uriah and Roy were tasked with guarding the creatures that had been influenced and corrupted by Yare's touch, while attended to undoing the great damage wreaked by him and his guardians across the land. The power of the Union was lastly used to isolate the fallen creatures in a reality set apart from our own, Inferno. Alright, nice bit of backstory there. You try and get the kill. Okay, it's going well with these wraiths. Malkesha, you get this leech. Huh. Alright, what about you? Alright, that leech has not survived. Not died, sorry. You run forward. And then down here, um, I guess you're going to come out. The healer's up there, because it's tending to Malkeshar. I could put you on the house, that's probably the best plan. And then as for you two, one of you can be guarded by this wraith. With slightly less experience, and so now you can't get past. Bring you around here as well. And you come down here so that you're ready to fight these fire elementals next turn. Glug of water, and that is that flank completed. Doesn't look like this death blade's actually moved, which is interesting. It must be a guard. I didn't realize that. I thought I could lure it out. I mean, I can lure it out, but only if I move one step further. In the meantime, I'm usually a bit wary about wasting uh, maximum level advancements, wasting experience on people who are at their maximum level, um, but honestly with the heroes in this campaign the last scenarios are so punishing that it's a challenge to keep them alive. So I think the best plan is to actually um, to do exactly what I'm doing here and just send them in. Get the experience, get the, get the hit points. Those three extra hit points can make a, a ton of difference. Alright, that's a bone shooter. What's more important to me, keeping my unit alive or getting the house? Getting the house is more important to me. And there's another skeleton. Okay, we'll see what happens down there. 
Now, neither of these skeletons can get very far. So, I'm just going to perch you there and see what you do as far as attack is concerned. Financial situation still not brilliant, could be worse. <laughs> the blue player is clearly an absolute coward. The right hand flank is not looking too bad, so I'll hope it stays that way. Igor, another, another kill for you, I hope. Good job. And then over here, someone gets an easy kill as well. Maybe Althurin. Good. And then if you come out here, then you can take whatever this fire guardian dishes out. And you come down here and be ready to support. Now, is it wise for you three to press up here at the same time? How much is there up here? Let's go. Let's just go and scout it out first with this, with this ghost. The Union faded, leaving behind the body of the Union and the twin orbs that held its essence. Fearing that the su successors of the Ten could fall prey to the same corruption, or that Yare might escape his imprisonment, these relics were hidden away on Ethia, Erdia, and Norsula. Should the need ever arise again, two beings shall assume the mantle to protect our reality from the threat. One blessed with the power of the Orb of Light, the other with the power of the Orb of Darkness. And once both join their spirits, they shall become the new avatars of the Union. And thus, the cycle will repeat, until the tree withers and eternity comes to an end. Alright, there's so much backstory here. What are my actual objectives in this scenario? I can't remember. I have to find the exit or defeat all enemy leaders. Okay. So this is going well. Malkashar, you go down there. Um, you go down there as well. Everyone just rush down here. Aha! Is this, is this an enemy leader? It looks like there's a fortification here. If I can find and take out one of the enemy leaders, that would be awesome. But I want to do this first. Ah, uh, yes. See, there is our friend the Lich Mal M. Nonaluz. <laughs> And there's no one better for taking out a lich than another lich, so that should be Malkashar's priority now, to get over here and kill Mal M. Nonalus. Um, I haven't seen the purple leader yet, I'm guessing, I mean, it seems like the purple troops are coming from over here, so I'm guessing that somewhere down here are the purple, and somewhere up here is the blue. So these people need to come and start taking out the blue troops, I think. Do need to be careful because this is the side where I'm getting, I'm getting attacked on two flanks at once. If you can just get one level one kill. OK. 
Okay, another bone shooter, but it's a long way away. Come on with the damage. Alright, that was lots of damage. Two hits. Yes, alright, we've got ourselves a revenant. And that's the first time in this campaign. Usually I've got a few revenants by this point, but uh, I've left it quite late to recruit a revenant at this point. Um, okay, I need, I need, need, need to push forward if I'm going to take out blue, but equally I do need to get rid of these guys as well. You first. You go in here. Just deal some regular damage. And then let's see. Let's see if you can maybe get the kill. You can't. Okay. Then you come down here and take care of the bone shooter. And... And then they come up here, take out his skeleton. And you've got 49 health left. There is a death blade here. Um, put Gallus out in front, he'll be on 40%. And I don't think he has any weakness to blade. Nope. So, okay. So if the death blade hits with all five its attack of its attacks, then Gallus will die if I do that. Um, but if I don't, it'll run forward and attack on Linde, who I think also doesn't have any resistance to blade. Nope. So either of those units will die, and Gallus is the most likely to do damage and to do decent damage in return. I think. Um, so. What about you? Oh no, you'll die too. <laughs> you can't get in, you're not fast enough. Oh, this is going brilliantly. <laughs> Great job, folks. Great job. Stupid death blade. I should have lured it out earlier on. Alright, Gallus. You're up. When you go there, you come here, shoot the leech. You come here and slash at the lich from the leech, not lich, from the other side. All right, good. Both of my, I think, both of my shadows are well on the way to becoming night gaunts. All right. Big question now is whether Gallus is going to die. Don't normally have that problem. I'm just going to move you forward a smidgen. We're all right. Just. <laughs> Melee attack. Ooh, you cheeky bugger. All right, that might even be where the purple leader is sending his troops from. But first, let's... After maximum level advancement for you. There's another village up there, that's handy. You run in and get the slow. Ah, oh, fantastic. And now I think it should be the case that my Wraith can finish the job. And now we've got another, another Bane Blade. Another Wraith. Fantastic. All right, now we can see a castle. You stay where you are, Gallus. You'll get level that way. You move forward. And I think everyone up here should just go, should just go back, um, or just defend. Yeah.
Okay, right hand side. Um, everyone here needs experience, really. Who's going to get it? Arari, the Dark Sorcerer, I think is probably still the person who needs it the most because I can get a Necromancer out of you and that would be beautiful. <laughs> but you miss with both your attacks. Alright. Altherian is reliable. I see a leech. Wielding the power of the Union, and aided by the only three Guardians who chose to stand against their creator, they managed to destroy their fallen brethren one by one. Finally, they put an end to his revolt, and trapped him in the void between worlds. Okay, the only disadvantage with using ghosts to fight walking corpses is that eventually you start to run out of of mojo. Can the lich come out? No, and this one can't reach either. So I think we're okay for now if we keep attacking it from the northern side. You're 40, 40, 40, it doesn't matter where you attack from, you're 50, 50, and you're the same, aren't you? Okay, good. experience. Okay, you go. you're halfway towards a level. And we'll get a, a spectre who isn't fundamentally beaten up over here to help out. Hmm. Okay. And you, you don't get left behind. Come down here and help with the fight. This Wraith, if it fights the Deathblade and doesn't die, which it should do if, unless, it, unless the Deathblade hits with all of its attacks, will level up. So let's see if there are any other enemies around here. There's a Death, there's a, a Bane Bow. Can anyone else reach the Deathblade? Yes, actually. And the Deathblade's got 39 health. I mean, I could even kill it. It's not out of the question. It could kill me, I could kill it. I like those odds. Oh, we've got a skeleton, regular skeleton as well. Okay, well, I'm still doing it. Yes! Yes, there we go. And now, you... Fantastic, you're close to a level as well. And once again, actually, this doesn't help my income any. You go up here. Am I need am I gonna need you to fight the Bainbow? I might need you to fight the Bainbow, but you're gonna you're gonna take a little while to get there. Still, Bainbows are scary. I want to have all of the troops in place I can to deal with them. There's a giant leech here, but I can ignore it for now. Good. Get the house.
Ah, oh, no, you're not quite fast enough. And because there's a ghost here, I, I can't run out and grab this village either. Well, I can, but... Can the ghost kill me? Yeah, it can, easily. Alright. So then I do want... I do want you to run away. Alas. We'll go around there, where there shouldn't be any enemies that can fight you. Maybe you do that, because you're invisible. Uh, now where this lich is, there are lots of glyphs. Obviously this is the information hub. Can you reach? No, you can't reach that house, but you can. More giant leeches. There's a giant leech here. Can this ghost reach that far? Alright, good. Well, maybe if it wants, it can come out and fight my wraith. That's fine. And then you can go down there. And then we're good. And then there's just. Oh, no, the ghost at the top. I've moved into the main troop. Good, good, good. Turn. Jammy little ghosty bugger. Alright, now, how best to deal with the Banebow and friends? You stay on the path and get rid of this skeleton. Or miss with all but one of your attacks, that's fine. You could come and stand on this glyph. Long ago, during a forgotten age, the beings of light and darkness waged an endless war, ceasing only when Yarai, the arcane lord, appeared and took his place as arbiter. With his great power, he created ten guardians to bring balance to the factions. Upon each guardian was then bestowed control over the different creatures and aspects of their power, and other great demons were created as needed to aid each in their task. So now we've got one skeleton up here, and we've got the Bainbow. I don't think I'm going to quite be able to kill the Bainbow. No. In fact, even bringing in the shadow here is a big, big risk, because it can get shot at, and Bainbows do have nasty range damage. So I might actually be better off putting the, the, the shadow here and sending it in next turn. I think that is my best bet. And the spectre can come in for support. The rest of you come down here. And as for you... Stay where you are and defend. And at least you'll keep an eye out on what's coming from that flank. All right, now the lich can't really can't move very far.
stupid to send you up here, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Okay, well. You two can go there. Oh, sugar. I'll undo that. Um. Igor can grab... This guy can grab this house. Igor, don't do anything just yet. I want this slow guy to do that. You can come down there. I could scout more in this direction. Um, oh, there's an ant. Alright, that's fine. Not fussed by ants. Just moving in to surround our lichy friends. She's pretty tough, actually. Ah, oh, yeah, she's resilient. That's what she's got going for her. Okay. Didn't quite lose the spectre. Bit lucky there. there too. Now I think I should be able to finish off this Bane Bow one way or another. If you want something done right, send on Linda in to do it. Yeah, she was she was kind of beating around the bush until the uh, Bainbow hit her, and then she realised where her priorities lay. Okay, you ghost. If you can get two hits. Ah, oh, lucky. And then you go to the house. You go to this house. And then next turn, everyone can move, move back. You've got a pierce attack that drains. Now, revenants have 60% resistance to pierce. So I'm actually going to stick you there, where you can technically be attacked, and you can take that damage. Here though, I'm going to shoot the soulless. Alright, are they just going to keep marching on past, or are they going to bother attacking my skeleton archer? Could go either way. Malkesha, you come in and get in position where you can be attacked by the Lich, if the Lich comes out. But you can't be attacked by anyone else. And I don't, I still don't really want anyone else to be in range of the Lich. Um, so there's probably not going to be all that much movement on this flank in that case. You can move, you should move and heal up, continue healing up these uh, wraiths, they'll be on full health next turn. Down here, you can get this house, and it's not withstanding. Now it looks like there might be a secret passage over here. That's something I'm a little bit curious about. Maybe I should go over there with, with some of these troops and... Uh, I can put you there where you're not in danger of being attacked by the lich and then maybe you'll get an attack next turn and you can go there onto this house and then I think my best bet for everyone else is just to stay put anyone else back here no good There we go. 
go. Very nice. All right, left flank. Everyone move back into position. You can kill a giant leech. Or try. There we go. Now you up there. Gallus, come down to there. You go to there. You come here, and everyone can get the healing they need. Very, very nice. And finally, you. Well, you, you might even survive. If you're lucky, you might even survive. You, you could punch this soulless to death. But I want you to explore. Just another normal leech, as far as I can see. Yeah. Spectre can deal with that on its own. Oh, okay, there's a purple trooper coming up this way. Maybe we'll see if that continues. It's annoying that this guy has just appeared, because if he hadn't, I would feel a lot more confident about just running in here and nailing everything. Um, I still think I can, though. These wraiths in particular. Yeah, nailing things. That's not how nailing things works. These message encoding crystal glyphs were created by us, the Argazar civilization, so that our knowledge and technology could be preserved, even past the end of our existence. It is our final hope that all of this information will not be used for malign purposes. <coughs> Alright, didn't quite manage to kill the soulless, that's frustrating. Um, well, the question is whether just to run in and do the whacking thing with Malka Shah. Um, I do have a couple of other troops who can get in on the on the lich in case it all goes pear shaped, because I need to get I would actually need to get all five hits in order for this to work, and if I do that, Malkashar will be very weakened. If I if I don't do if I don't get the kill, and if the enemy gets a good number of attacks in, well, let's try it. Ha! Nice. All right. Now, you go up here, get the slow, or try and get the slow. I want you to get the kill, if you can. Oh! Yeah. Three hits, 50%. Yeah, that was a possibility. So still, I, I could have not missed with everything. You may take me down and win this battle, but know this. The Warlord, the Warlord is coming. Flee while you can, and you may yet be able to enjoy your lives a few days more. These fiends seem so confident in the might of this Warlord of theirs. It's rather troubling. Necromancers, there surely is no end to their arrogance, not even as they're dying. Again, you shouldn't give their words too much credit, Lord Gallas. Okay, I'll make this one a shadow to replace the one that just died with a ton of experience. Level is not over. I can still explore, I still need to find the exit. And I think... Well, I don't know, actually. Let's look at the status table. Aha, purple. Yes, that's right. There's still, there is still a purple enemy knocking around. and you can be a shadow as well because I've got plenty of wraiths. No, I, I do like wraiths more. Shadows are so situational. Wraiths are just generally brilliant.
to attack or not to attack with Eagle. I won't get any experience for it, so it seems actually kind of pointless given that I can't kill it. I'm just gonna stand here next to the healer like a wimp. And that's the battle in the center. And in the north, everything is sorted out, and my income is now very healthy now that I've captured all of Blue's villages. You just stay where you are and get that last bit of health back. This skeleton archer might be MVP. Absolutely amazing performance. Fantastic. Meanwhile, you come down here and stand on the rocks. You go over here and kill this leech or try to. Beautiful. Actually, you're close to an after maximum level advancement. I think again. Um, Good. Now that passage is really narrow, so I think my main force ought to come around. Okay, here there's a bat that's appeared out of nowhere. There's also this zombie, and I'm once again gonna feed it to Igor. <laughs> and little by little he edges towards the level. I need to make sure this blood bat dies. And then I can explore all of these other fantastic glyphs. Grab the oops. Great stuff! Okay. There are permanent gateways to Inferno, hidden in many different worlds, protected by the chosen gatekeepers of Illuvia. Now that you've found that out... Um, well... As he fell victim to that corruption, so did the original Ten Guardians. Yare led them and their subjects against the gods of light and darkness, and wreaked chaos and destruction upon all that existed. In the end, the gods joined their forces in a single entity capable of fighting this new evil. The avatar of the Union of Light and Darkness was born. And now you can head over here to explore this corner. With my necromancer friend. Dark sorcerer friend terminology. You come down here and get health. You come down here and get health. Um, oh, but first... <laughs> Malsia was here. Vandalism. Vandalism in the depths of the world. Finish the job. 
No, I don't think anyone would have called it, but this archer would have taken out both the enemies that were threatening him. So down here there is a draug. You only need one hit to kill this skeleton. You only need five experience to gain a level. So what I'm going to do is perch you there, see if I can get some range damage with you. Not enough to be useful, but then see if I can get the kill. Uh, again, not quite. Oh well. Alright, there's a few troops down here, there's a Bainbow. Um, not terrified? Should I be? Maybe? <clears throat> This revenant I might as well leave behind. It's going to be as slow as anything. Next round, next round. Am I going to go for the ants, or am I going to go for... I'm going to go and try and kill these leeches. Generally good to get them out of the way. Alright, it'll regenerate, but... Not terrified. Ooh, um... Ants can get in on that fight. Oh no, ants! But I think um, when Anne Lindsay gets here, and that's going to be four turns, but when she does, it's game over for this leader, if it isn't game over already. Oh, stop being annoying! There we go, that's one way of stopping being annoying. Um... Right flank. Oh yeah, none of you can actually get in there apart from... Well, you can. Let's try and do 32 damage. Fail. Touch plate triggered, a wall moves. These guys! I don't like these guys. It's a worm. A couple of worms, in fact. There is another glyph down here. Okay. Feels like almost disrespectful to use Malka Sharp for killing ants. Okay, but I'm gonna need I'm gonna need wraiths, I think, to fight these guys because they're not powerful, but they are annoying. And you come down and heal the wraith. Meanwhile, over here. This Bane 
this bone shooter doesn't actually want to go anywhere. Maybe it'll come out when it sees that it's being threatened by a death knight. Kind of feel like, okay, this ghost, um, I've got enough level 2 ghost level ghost units that I don't even care if this one gets killed. So if they go for it, that's fine. Even you. Uh, I don't want you to die, so please stay where you are for now. And later on, you can come and do some fighting. The crucial person to bring into into play here is Anne Linde, because she just does so much ranged arcane damage. This thing will be completely defenseless against her. experience. You need four experience. These two are so close, I really don't want to to lose them, don't want to waste them in any way. Can't get any of my ranged units in close right now. Could get you in. You can just do some crossbow shooting. And then on one way or another, I'm going to need to sort out... Oh, Gallus, you can get in there. Okay, you do some crossbow shooting as well. And then down here... You just come in and attack. And maybe you get the kill. Best way to become a bone shooter is by killing the bone shooter. And that means you can do some a mighty two damage per hit with leadership. And that Hanlin Day should be able to easily finish the job. Still kind of worried about these two. Maybe I should just move them out of the way. Be a coward. Yeah. For now. Just for now. And then we'll see what these two decide to do. They could just go all out on Galas, and they could kill him if they get really, really lucky. If you don't hit twice, then you will probably die, so it's a shame, but go back and heal. You kill the ant. You explore down here. Doesn't seem like there's a way through, so I guess I'll go back up this way. The irritating thing about these biomechanical units is that because they are 
biomechanical, they're immune to drain. And that means... That just means they're bastards, basically. Pretty much as simple as that. Um, means that my best units can't really do that much damage to them. I think actually, given how good spectres are, spectres are in this campaign, it's quite good that there is at least one unit type um, that can't immediately just own them. Having said that, later in later levels, you find tons of them. Um, note this unit type, the Shaxtal. Bit of a spoiler there, we will come across more in later levels. Quite a lot more. My experienced ghost. Yeah, like I said, had enough kills against ghosts that I don't feel too concerned if one of them dies. Do you move around to there? You move in and just do a ton of damage. Do I want to? Not quite getting the kill, but that's fine. Can this Bane Blade, can this Bone Shooter get it? I doubt it. Maybe. Nah. Anyone can get the kill, it just needs to be someone who's standing there. Alright, Gallus, you go and stand on this on this glyph. Yare had unrivaled control over the forces of light and darkness. Wisdom and moderation were instrumental in this role, and he brought peace and prosperity for all, until an unknown force turned him against his peers, the gods of light and darkness. Alright, now... Hmm, my minions found something. You pick up a peculiar looking crystal shard. Okay, I'll get an early finish bonus now as soon as I find the exit. So, oh, I was hoping to get two hits. I was hoping to get any hits. Um, Still, could be worse. Um, again, you can reach round. Um, you two, again, stay where you are. Being very cowardly with you, but so never mind. Shit. <laughs> oh man, um, that's what happens when you explore with a with a unit that. Oh god, no, I could die, I could lose, I could lose, uh oh. Igor, help! You go here. Somehow you're on terrain that gives you 90%. And yeah, you still manage to miss. Come in and get the kill. Okay, now fingers absolutely crossed that the uh, pierce attack here does not kill poor old Althurin. I don't think it will, but it could. Now 
who do I need to find the exit with? Galas, Anlinde, or Malkasha. Alright, I need to start getting my leader units towards that exit. Problem in this situation is... Althurin has really stubby, crappy little legs. So it's hard for me to block him. No one can quite get in there fast enough to actually block him from being attacked next turn. And there is another um, lich creature down here. These are brain drainers. That's at level three. Um, will you level if I if I give you? No, you, even if even with twenty four experience, you won't actually level. You could get the kill if you get two hits and the enemy doesn't hit you twice first. Again, I don't trust it. I just don't trust it. This is such a frustrating situation. Um, I think ultimately I'm going to have to sacrifice Igor here in order to not lose the game. And I might lose the game anyway. Where do you get 60% defense? You get 60% defense over here, and not in the forest, not in the... Uh... Yeah, and you can both reach. You get 50% defense here, so you can at least hopefully take the damage. I think this might be, tragically, my loyal unit's last stand, because this only this turn, only this turn I will really need... Ah, uh, it's not enough. It's not enough. I can't. I can't protect. I can't protect Althurin. All right. I think it's probably game over for me then. Just see how many hits they get this turn. You run for the exit. You run for the exit. You can take the time to take out this leech. You grab that. And you go with the leaders. And you just finish the job down here. And then I think you three, yeah. Um, you grab the house, you grab the house, you grab the shard. Long ago, during a forgotten age, the beings of light and darkness waged an endless war, ceasing only when Yare, the arcane lord, appeared and took his place as arbiter. With his great power, he created ten guardians to bring balance to the factions. Upon each guardian was then bestowed control over the different creatures and aspects of their power, and other great demons were created as needed to aid each in their task. I did do this one, didn't I? Oh. Yare had unrivaled control over the forces of light and darkness. Wisdom and moderation were instrumental in this role, and he brought peace and prosperity for all, until an unknown force turned him against his peers, the gods of light and darkness. As he fell victim to that corruption, so did the original Ten Guardians. Yare led them and their subjects against the gods of light and darkness, and wreaked chaos and destruction upon all that existed. In the end, the gods joined their forces in a single entity capable of fighting this new evil. The Avatar of the Union of Light and Darkness was born. Wielding the power of the Union, and aided by the only three Guardians who chose to stand against their creator, they managed to destroy their fallen brethren one by one. Finally they put an end to his revolt, and trapped him in the void between worlds. Of the remaining ten, Uriah and Bleh were tasked with guarding the creatures that had been influenced and corrupted by Yare's touch, while Bleh attended to undoing the great damage wreaked by him and his Guardians across the lands. The power of the Union was lastly used to isolate the fallen creatures in a reality set apart from our own. Inferno. The Union faded, leaving behind the body of the Union and the twin orbs that held its essence. Fearing that, that the successors of the Ten could fall prey to the same corruption, or that Yare might escape his imprisonment, these relics were hidden away on Aethia, Erdia, and Norsula. Should the need ever arise again, two beings shall assume the mantle to protect our reality from the threat. 
one blessed with the power of the orb of light, the other with the power of the orb of darkness, and once both join their spirits, they shall become the new avatars of the union, and thus the cycle will repeat until, until the tree withers and eternity comes to an end. All right, plot summary globe, I like that one. Let's get out of here. Okay, um, now I'm going to do something that I almost never do. Um, I'm going to save. <laughs> oh, wow. That was close, but... Even though I played that like a complete idiot, everyone survived. At least so far. <laughs> Let's see if I can keep it that way. Alright, no dumbass play from this point onwards. Everyone move. I think I'm near the end of the scenario now though. Which is good because I've got 20 turns, and if I can kill everyone... Oh now I need Malkashar in for this one. Now, scouting. Scouting is important because that means that your uh, essential units don't run into monsters that can kill them easily. Um, good, good, good. This all looks very positive, and I think this should be the way out. house. Everyone else come down here. Really at this point in the game you don't need to move everyone. I just do because basically for role playing purposes so you can fast forward a little bit now if you just want to get to the end of the video. So what is down here? Ah, oh, there's another crystal. That's good. I think this is it. What's up here? Let's walk slowly towards it with a powerful unit. That has to survive. Ah, fire elementals, interesting. Okay, who's good against them? Well, you are actually, you're pretty good against them. If you stand on the on the rock, but then they can't get to you. Stand there, then one of them can. You can go down there too, Malka Shah can go down here. This might just be a cave with a bunch of pointless fire elementals in it. I'm willing to take that risk. Yeah, in case you were wondering, I was totally going to save Scum if that hadn't gone my way. I don't normally do it, but there are occasions, and one of them is when I've spent <laughs> the best part of two hours recording a video that I would then have to redo. Could still happen. 
hashtag the joys of Wesnoth. Nothing interesting here. Okay. Um, Igor is up to level two, and because I want him to get to level three and he's loyal, I'm going to make him a knight rather than a pillager. Pillagers actually are more useful. They're not quite as tough, but they've got that awesome slow attack. Um, but honestly, yeah, knight. And then I think this is it. This is game over. Access granted. Oh, no, not game over. I have to go a little bit further. Death Knight is definitely going to bring up the rear. And this Dark Sorcerer is doing well too. Oh, I got some good units out of this level. Anyone else left behind? No, good. A little bit of experience for you, and then maybe finally, could it be the end of the level? This path goes even deeper underground. We must continue. I feel we are very close to our destination now. Okay, that's a whopping 305 bonus gold. Let's check the table. Statistics, losses. So I lost only level 1 units and one shadow, which was quite an experienced shadow. But never mind. I'm pretty close to having a night gaunt. All is fair in love and war and Wesnoth. Okay, that's more than enough Wesnoth for one video. I'm going to stop there. See you next time.